Mate, the catch cry we always hear today is if it's flooded, forget it. But the cold hard reality is that out in the bush, not everyone's been lucky enough to get a bridge yet. So you're gonna come across a water crossing from time to time. Some of them there all year long. So you're gonna have to work out how to get your way through them. And there's a few good methods of doing it, isn't there? So this water crossing we've got here, it's a pretty firm, rocky bottom. It's a little bit looser than what you'd find in your average weir, you know, going through somewhere in the outback. But these things can get very loose depending on the type of waterway. So it's always a great idea to walk through it. Mate, absolutely. And the other thing I find, it's just my opinion, and sometimes people laugh at it, people talk about polarised sunglasses being good for fishermen. But you're about to drive through water, it'll let you see through the water and see what the bottom's like. So I always say a good pair of sunnies when you're out travelling is absolutely worth their salt invaluable it's not just to keep the sun out of your eyes it's also for better vision with obstacles like this yeah too right now when you're coming up on the obstacle there's a few ways you can tackle it one is flat out water over the roof that's the wrong way to tackle it always just stop check it out and do what we talked about first initially make your way through check out the bottom walk it and then come back and make a plan. Where do we start now, mate? Look, before you get into the water, you wanna be really conscious of the wading depths, things like the air intakes of your vehicle, but also the caravan behind you, where there are any water ingress points. If you've got your low vents there for gas ventilation, sometimes you may wanna tape them up. But if you're getting into water that deep, maybe it's not caravan country. All caravanners aren't four wheel drivers, but we do have an air intake still. You don't know where it is, you better pop your bonnet one day and have a little gander. Often it's right behind your headlight. You start going through water deeper than that and you're gonna have big problems, so stay out of it. Now it's a classic four wheel driving tip, but it still rings true today that bow waves can save your air intake. And what we mean by that is, as you come into the waterway, create a bit of momentum there. So when the front of the car goes in, you make a wave in front of the vehicle. Obviously not too quick, so you might move the radiator around and cause damage under the bonnet, but fast enough that you get that wave breaking in front of the car. From there, you back off a little bit and let that wave pull away from you and then chase that wave through the water crossing. Not only will it prevent you pushing your way through that firm body of water and struggling harder than you need to, but it'll actually make the water level lower behind the wave, stop it from going into the engine, through your doors, and into that all-important caravan or camper trailer on the back. And I reckon one of the most important things always is don't panic. Keep a level head, take your time. Get there, plan it, walk it, get your plan in place, and then execute it. Because if you take your time, you'll do it stress-free, and that is the best way to do anything in life, wouldn't you say, mate? When it comes to off-road caravans and camper trailers, Club 4x4 can give you confidence that you're covered anywhere you can legally take it.